Today, we are going over my imaging setup, how I use my iPad as a display monitor on my Panasonic camera. So stay tuned. So this week as I was browsing through social media, I came across the Everyday Dad and he posted a picture of his new setup with his, what, 6th or 7th GH5? Um, but he uses the uh, iPad as a and through the Panasonic app and he sits it on his desk kind of in front of him out of the shot so he can kind of control um, all his settings because the Panasonic app is probably the best app ever for any camera, I'm just saying. They might have really bad autofocus, but dang, that camera app is sweet. I use the same thing, and I try to use that with an, on an iPad so I can see a clear picture of my face so it doesn't get all out of focus -y like it has been in the past. So, um, I want to show you guys that setup uh, that I use because I, I'm, I pretty much mount it to a tablet holder on my key light light stand that's like directly in front of me. So I'm using a 12 millimeter lens, you know, I'm arm's length away from the camera. I can literally tap the lens, tap any of the settings on the touch screen that's flipped out to the side. Thanks, Panasonic. So let's just pull out my phone, since I don't have another camera, and I'll show you what I can see from my spot. So here we are. This is exactly what I see when I'm sitting, you know, looking at the camera. I kind of see the screen if I look my eyes kind of down. But, uh, you know, like, this is a 12 millimeter lens, which is a 24 millimeter full frame equivalent, I can literally just touch it. So, um, and here we go, this is the, the app that I'm using, and it is wonderful. I mean, I can start the uh, recording and stop it from here, um, I can take a picture if I really wanted to, uh, I can press autofocus on the shot, I can even tap on the screen to autofocus. It shows me my my aperture and and how and you know all the settings that are down here. It's great. Um, I, I can tell that I'm in manual focus so that I know that I'm you know not in autofocus because I can't trust you know Panasonic my white balance ISO. It's it's very neat. It's a very intuitive and very great app. So um, can't really go wrong there. And so I just literally mount this to a, to my light stand right here, and I bought this little extra clamp for this particular um, tablet holder, but um, I wouldn't really suggest this one anymore because this is an iPad 2, so if you have an iPad 2, it's, um, this, this current one is the Griffin, it fits it perfectly, but even if you have that iPad 2, I would highly suggest using something else. But let's go back to the camera. All right. Um, so, what I would suggest using is this K&M uh, branded tablet holder. This is a universal tablet holder, so it does, it's not stuck to one tablet size. It'll work with a n number of tablets. This thing just kind of extends out, and you can even lock it in place, and it doesn't go anywhere. Just unlock it, and it goes, goes back down. Um, you could probably mount phones in here. You could you could do anything if because it, it's it goes really small to really large. I'm not really sure if this would fit the iPad Pro or not. Um, I haven't really I don't have an iPad Pro to test it out, nor have I looked at how long this is on the specs. But yeah, it, it's uh, I use it with my um, regular standard iPad. You can use it with the 9.75 inch ones. I, I know that you can use these with some of the uh, Samsung. I had a musician that, I, that used one of those. To, for their sheet music, and it works fine. Um, this is a great uh, tablet holder, and it's not too expensive considering that it comes with all this here. This is the whole. The other one that I showed, I had to like f find an arm to mount it to. This has the arm. Uh, it all comes with it, and um, I use this when I'm doing my music out for my uh, other iPad. So I have multiple iPads that I currently use. So I'm leaving this setup in the studio to use it with the imaging app. So it's just really awesome. So if you like this product today and you're interested in purchasing it, I'll leave a link down in the description below to get it off Amazon. And uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you in the future.